Hello friends, welcome to dialandroid.com. Today I am going to show you how to install Mui ROM which is based on Ice Cream Sandwich and CM9 version. Some people call it MIUI ROM, some people call it Mui ROM. So don't get confused. First of all, let me show you which current uh, firmware I am running on. I am using Gingerbread 2.3.5 KI3 firmware. Okay, you need a rooted device uh, which has CWM installed on phone. Here you can see. I'll allow it. Okay, so make sure you have a rooted phone. After that, first of all, I'll suggest to back up all your data and do a full factory reset of your phone so that installation can go smooth. Now, download the files given uh, in the link of my blog. There will be two files. One will be this MIUI 2.1 ICS and the other one will be G apps. Both of them you need to copy into your internal SD card. After that, uh, first switch off your phone. I will remove the battery. And now you need to reboot into CWM clockwork work mode. For that, you need to press the volume up button, home button and the power button. As soon as the Samsung logo comes, you can leave the buttons and your phone will boot in CWM mode. Here you can see. Now please make sure do all the steps which I am doing in the video to ensure the smooth installation. First of all, you need to do a wipe data and factory reset. Here you go. Now, wipe catch partition, you can see. To navigate you can use these volume up and down and to press OK you can use this home button. So it's done. Now go to the advance and wipe Dalvik catch. Okay. Now go to the mount and storage and uh, format the system. Done. Now go back to the main menu by using this touch button. You will have option of install zip from SD card click on OK, choose zip from a SD card and here you will have option of this ICS first you have to flash this file click on OK yes it will take little time Don't get panic, it takes two to three minutes. Here it's showing install from SD card complete. Now again choose zip from SD card and install this G apps ICS, the second file click on yes you can see install from SD card complete now go back to the main menu and click on reboot system now you can see the CM9 boot animation screen don't get panic it takes some time for the first boot so I'm not editing this video 
so it will be as it is the real time which takes on my device so far this version is very stable only few bugs are there but still this one is really nice you'll like the interface and speed and some of the battery backup also it really takes long time for the first boot You, if you are holding your device you will feel slight vibrate within the process so here you go this is the first thing which you have to do uh, it will ask for the root permission so for that you have to go to the settings and click here so it will allow the root permissions click on ok now you can use the back button so you have to agree to the location consent now here's the ICS so let's start you can choose the time zone and all okay that's fine I'll click on next I'll not sign in now you can give name to your device Google services that's it so setup is complete now so here you go you have MIUI on your device okay first of all let me show you the firmware here you go this one is MIUI Android based on uh, 4.0.3 it is showing how much processor I have, RAM, internal memory available. Please note down this guys because so many people asked after this. So the base band version is obviously KI3 on which I have installed. I think you can use KI3, KI4 modem. Should not be an issue. KI3 is a good one. So this one is, uh, that's all about the ROM. Apart from that, what works, what doesn't work. I'll say first of the things which I got here, face lock works properly, don't have to worry about it, you can easily set up here from the security and uh, the only thing which I found till now is this data usage, when I click on it, it will crash but they have given an option for it, it will be in Chinese, don't mind, so here you can see the data usage. That's the only thing which I found till now, apart from that, that signal strength is still not appropriate it will always show full or nil if it is not, network is not there apart from that uh, I think everything works fine they have given the themes issue but there is a fix also available so overall it's a good looking ROM and uh, it's totally based on uh, ICS you can enjoy it so here you go, if you have any doubt, please post a comment, we will try to help you out. Thanks for watching guys.